assignment uh, today of 12.3 and 12.4. Um, this is part number five. This was done by some people, but I don't think everybody has this part built. So I'm going to build this part, and I'm going to show you how to dimension it um, on Onshape and show you what it is that I'm looking for. I'm going to build it with the wrong front view first so, so you can see what it is that's done. I know that this L shape should be the front view of this piece, but I'm going to build it so it's sort of down or up in the wrong way. And then I'm going to show you how to fix that from there. So, all right, so let's go back. We have 1.24B. This is part number five. I'm just going to make it, instead of putting on the front view, I sort of screwed up or say I'm screwing up and I've put it on the top view. So I'm going to take off the planes and turn it to where it needs to be turned. I know from the picture that it's 0.25 per side is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what do we got? 3, 6, 8. And then it goes back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, okay. So I'm going to use my line tool. I'm going to go up. Uh, 5 times 0.25, so that's going to give me the 1 point. And as I go across, it's going to go over 0 0.5. And then I'm going to go down to 0 0.75. And I want to go this way, 1.5. And then hopefully if I've done this correctly, this should match up at 0.5. And this distance, if I were to measure it, should be 2. And it is 2. Okay. So now I've got that piece built. I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And I'm going to extrude that piece 1.25. Click OK. So that gives me this look right here. So from this point here, I'm going to put a new sketch on here just so we have that piece there. So I'm going to have that face me. I'm going to use my rectangle. And I know that this should be down 0.25. So, and then my distance across should be 0.75. So point. 75 enter and 0.25 and I also know that I have to dimension this to be 0.25 from the sides only need to do it to one side so we're fine that way I'm going to finish that one and I'm going to do a cut extrusion so I'm going to remove that piece making sure I go through all of it and I'm going to click OK that gives me that look. And then the last one, I'm going to put a new sketch on here. Once again, I know that it's 0.25 plus another half a block. So on a 0.375 is what that's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead on this one, make sure it fits the right way. Just to make sure that that piece, I know that that piece is actually two full blocks so it's 0 0.5 by one two three four by one so i know that it's one and 0 0.5 and i know that the distance from each side since it's the same it's symmetrical i can just do that one make that 0 0.375 that puts that in the center and i can finish that piece and I can do a remove extrude, making sure I go through all of it. And I click OK. And there is my piece. Now, if I go to look at this, I have lots of different ways I can look at it. But if I go to try and find the front view, should have gone the other way, but that's all right. I can see that my front view is definitely wrong. And that's okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the plus sign. We're going to go to create drawing. Making sure that we find that NV-SV template. 
Clicking OK here. And so now, as I bring in this piece here, I can definitely tell that I have the wrong front view. So I'm going to click here. So I have the wrong front view here. So I'm going to go ahead and escape. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to view orientation. And I think I must have built it. I think I did build it on the top view. So as I look here, ah, it gave me the right view here. This is my L shape. Now, if I didn't like this, if this was turned, I could then go under view properties and under rotation angle, I could change how this is rotated. Now, because I've already changed it once, oh, I wonder if I have to do all of them. It's not letting me do a rotation angle at this point, but that's okay. Uh, we'll be all right with this. So if you need to change it, I think you change it before you change the other, even though it did work for me. So at this point, we can change how we want that view to look. So this is my best front view. So I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to right click and say, show me the hidden lines. So those are the only hidden lines that we have from this view. So from here, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to hold the control key down. I'm picking all four of them. I'm going to do show properties or view properties. And I'm going to change my scale to be a little bigger. Now, I don't know if two to one is going to be too big. That's going to be too large. So I'm going to make that 1.25. Let's type in 1.25. I'm going to click out here. That's a little better. I could maybe even go to 1.5. That's even better. So I'm going to go ahead and click the green arrow. I don't like that it says scale, so I'm just going to click on each of those and get rid of the, them by hitting the delete button. So I deleted all of those. So now I have no holes. I have things that have been cut out, but there aren't any holes. So I'm going to go ahead and dimension this. So here's my dimension key. First thing I'm always going to do is I'm going to put in the overall width. And I want that between the views. I'm going to put in the overall height. That's going to be between the views. And I'm going to put in the overall depth. So remember, depth is from the front to the back. So we see it there. Then from there, I'm going to go through and try and dimension each of the features I see. So starting with the width dimensions, I start from the left and I go until I find a feature. Well, that's a vertical line. That's a feature. So I can delete, I can uh, put a dimension on there. If I start from the left, I can go, oh, I come to a, another line, but it's a hidden line. I know I can't dimension hidden lines. That's against our rules. So we're going to hit escape and we're going to start back up by hitting dimension. Instead of doing it on the front view, we're going to do it on the top view. And as I look, I don't see any other features until I get to the very end. So this is the dimensions I need for the width of this piece. So for the height of this piece, back to dimension. This is the best contour, so I'm going to dimension from here to here to show the contour of the piece. It could be from here to here, but it can't be in both places. But I would accept it from here to here. The next one to look at, going from the bottom up, once again, I've hit a hidden line. I can't dimension a hidden line. So I'm going to hit dimension, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to dimension that. So it does allow me to go into the piece, even though it's it, you shouldn't do that, but I can't dimension hidden lines. So I've got the bottom there, there. So those are the only, so I got one, two, three, four lines going up. That gives me those three dimensions. All right. 
And now, lastly, from our depth from the front to the back, so from the front here to the back, I can go from here to here. That's a feature. And as I start from the front and I go back, I can go to here. Now, I've sort of skipped a step here, but that's okay as we take a look at it. I'm going to move this out a little bit. Okay. Now, I had a feature that's way back here, from here up. That's a feature, but I don't want to go inside the piece. So I'm going to look over here and go, well, yeah, I can do this over here. So I'm going to go from the front, which is here. I'm looking at from the right view. I'm looking at this corner right here. The front over, and that's 0.25. And I've got from the front to my next feature would be there. So I'm going to go from the front to that feature there, and that's where I would put that number there. Now, there are some other things that you can do. You could have done it, skipped the one and put the 0.25 over here. I'm okay with that. Um, but other than that, that's all that you need other than to finish up the thing by showing the shaded view of that piece. So at this point, this is what I would snip out, including my name, the date, and the name of the piece. And that's what would go into number five of 1.24, uh, our deliverable that we have. Okay, if you have any questions, please send an email. Have a great one.